everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about looking for information in Google. The first thing you want to do when you want to find some information is open the internet. You can open Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Google Chrome. These are called browsers. When you browse, you're looking for something. So we are going to open Internet Explorer. When you open a browser, you want to click in this bar. This is called the address bar. Your house has an address. When you tell someone your address, they know how to find you. The internet is the same. Every website has its own address. If you change one letter, you find another website. So be very careful when you are spelling the website address. Now type www.google.com and then tap the enter. You can look for information in a few ways. Maybe you want to learn about the Seattle Airport. So you type in Seattle Airport. And now you see Seattle International, um, SeaTac International Airport. Sometimes when you type for something in Google, you see information on the right. You can see here we have information about the hours, the address, and the phone number of the airport. And there is also a map. Sometimes you can also ask a question in Google. If you want to know when the library opens, you can ask when does the Seattle Public Library open? And you see it says here when does the Seattle Public Library open? And you click search You can see it shows me the hours on the right. And I can also see a map, a map and a picture of the library. If you want to learn more, I can click on this address. This is the website for the library. I can read more about the library here. Sometimes you have to open a website to learn more. I want to learn more about my child's school. I type the name in the search bar, the search bar here, Roosevelt High School. And you see Roosevelt High School, Seattle, Washington. And you can see there's a small map on the right, but I want to learn more, so I click on the website. Now I can read more about the school.
listen to these directions again and then put the steps in order on your worksheet. What do you do first, then second, then third?